just lost your job and somebody's coming along and they're telling you this could be a good thing. That's probably quite annoying. I get it, 100%. But what if? Let's just place that into our minds. You've clicked to watch this, so you might be curious. So let's go with this. Losing your job isn't a great experience. Nobody has that on their wish list, but it happens to a lot of us. It's completely normal to feel panic, to feel pain, to feel lost, to feel frustrated. That's completely normal. But what if we can convert all of that energy into something good and make it a really good thing that's happened to you? I'm Eleanor Tweddle, and I wrote the book Why Losing Your Job Could Be the Best Thing That Ever Happens to You. I am the founder of Another Door, and we work with people to help them through this process of the door closing in their career. They're in the space in between, and they're looking to make the next door they walk through the best thing that possibly could happen. Okay, sounds too good to be true. Maybe you're not in the mood for this, but let's go with this. Let's explore. Let's see what happens. Okay, we have five steps to slow this all down. I know the one thing that we none of us need right now, we've lost our job or we're trying to change career, is overwhelm. It can feel overwhelming just doing nothing, never mind trying to do something. So we've got five steps to try and help. Okay, first step is embrace shock. Embrace it. Don't push it away. Embrace your emotions and really tap into where you're at right now. What is it that you are feeling? And label it. You, yeah, That's okay. Say it out loud. I am feeling panicky. I am feeling upset. I'm feeling angry. Whatever it is, label it and own it. You can wallow for a while. That is completely fine. You can feel a little bit sorry for yourself. Whatever you need to do, you can do it for a while. Then at some point, you have to say to yourself, okay, time to close that door, time to say goodbye and look towards my future and I'm going to create an amazing future. Once you're in that space, step two is all about, okay, I'm with you now. I'm feeling like this could be all right, but I feel stuck. I don't know where to, to start. Step two is about exploring, creating ideas. To do that, you've got to get uncomfortable. You can't be in your comfort zone when you're creating. You've got to start talking to people, telling them what you want. You've got to start putting yourself out there, maybe trying stuff that you've never done before. Really go exploring. Who are you? Do you have hidden talents? I personally believe through working with hundreds of people in another door that everybody has at least five jobs that they could be doing. Five possibilities that you could start doing tomorrow. It's just about searching your hidden talents, your interests, the things that you just do naturally that you just think, why would anybody pay me to do this? That could be where it lies. Go exploring. Step three is about slowing it all down. And we're going to get really clear on what you want. What does the perfect tomorrow look like? So if you were to get up tomorrow morning and everything comes true for you you have the best day ever what is happening in that day who are you talking to who are you working for what are you doing start playing with that and being clear on one or two things if you can't get that quickly just say okay one or two things that would make it a good day start there that is now where you start stepping forward into okay what's the one thing you can do that helps you get closer to that point and that brings us to step four Becoming unstuck is about being planned. It's about seeing who's around you. It's about creating a network of people, maybe some people that are doing that already, maybe some people you can reach out to and talk to about it. Stepping out of that comfort zone again, being brave, being courageous. Step five. So it's called Thrive, but let me tell you, it's not about overnight success. Thrive is about knowing that you're going to get things wrong. You're going to get rejected. You're going to make mistakes, but you're going to own them. You're going to be fine with it because it's part of progression. So thriving is actually about trying, knowing, okay, it's fine. This might not all go well, but I'm going to learn bits from it. I'm going to keep moving forward. So rejection and failure and all the fear of all of that stuff, 
is fine. Just own it. Just keep stepping one step at a time forward. So how do you make it a good thing? You take gentle steps. It might not be overnight. It might not even be next year that you get your moment, but you started to work towards it. Another door we help you all the way through this on your mental health, on the guidance that you need, on the tools and resources that you need. We're there with you all the time. We know this stuff isn't easy, but it's possible. Thank you very much for watching. If you want more information, check us out on www.anotherdoor.co.uk and we are here to help you make redundancy and job loss, career change, best thing can happen to you.